not much. Uh, I learned that uh, uh, I had a polymorphism, which meant that uh, I metabolized some important drugs more slowly, and therefore they would, would pose greater risk to me if I took too much of them. So that was a very useful fact. Uh, and uh, so if I was, uh, you know, suddenly go psychotic and they give me an antipsychotic, unless they were careful, they could kill me with it. <laughs> and, you know, you just think it was an overdose, but no, it was my genes. Uh, then I sort of confirmed my hunch that uh, uh, I digested milk poorly. That, you know, if I had a, a large consumption of ice cream. And I had noticed something was strange when I was working out the DNA structure. I was having constant stomach pains, pains which other people were saying, well, you're just nervous about, you know, uh, uh, racing or uh, with Linus Pauling. But it was, in fact, I was still trying to be like an American and drinking a quarter day. And uh, by that time, I had lost the, we was losing the ability to uh, digest lactose. I chose not to find out uh, uh, whether I had a serious risk for Alzheimer's. Uh, and uh, at the time, you know, the, uh, uh, it was a little murky. It's getting much clearer now. So, uh, Craig Venter, who put his entire sequence on, he, it came out he's at risk, but he could probably define the risk better uh, by looking at the sequence today as opposed to uh, three years ago. Well, I think it's still, to be honest, about $20,000. Uh, there's always a question how you do the accounting and so on. The, the cost of the reagents you put in the machine and how often are you using the machine. So, uh, but uh, there's a lot of reasons to believe that it's going to fall by another factor of 10, uh, certainly within 10 years and maybe as soon as three or four. Uh, at which point then the cost of, you know, sequencing will be essentially trivial uh, and uh, the whole cost will then go toward interpreting it.